Welcome to Friday's Devotions. We're doing our second in the series of the life of Jacob. Jacob, who is Abraham's grandson, Isaac's son. And today we're looking at Genesis 27 and reading verses 1 to 17. When Isaac was old and his eyes were dim so he could not see, he called Esau, his older son, and said to him, My son. And he answered, Here I am. He said, Behold, I'm old. I do not know the day of my death. Now then take your weapons, your quiver and your bow, and go out to the field and hunt game for me, and prepare for me delicious food, such as I love, and bring it to me so that I may eat, that my soul may bless you before I die. Now Rebekah was listening when Isaac spoke to his son Esau. So when Esau went to the field to hunt for game and bring it, Rebekah said to her son Jacob, I heard your father speak to your brother Esau, bring me game and prepare for me delicious food, that I may eat it and bless you before the, before the Lord, before I die. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice as I command you. Go to the flock and bring me two young goats, so that I may prepare from them delicious food for your father, such as he loves. And you shall bring it to your father to eat, so that he may bless you before he dies. But Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, Behold, my brother Esau is a hurry man, and I am a smooth man. Perhaps my father will feel me, and, and I shall seem to be mocking him, and bring a curse upon myself and not a blessing. His mother said to him, Let your curse be on me, my son. Only obey my voice. Go, bring them to me. So he went and took them and brought them to his mother, and his mother prepared delicious food, such as his father loved. Then Rebekah took the best garments of Esau, her older son, which were with her in the house, and put them on Jacob, her younger son. And the skin of the young goat she put on his hands, on the smooth part of his neck, and she put the delicious food and the bread which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. Amen. Isaac now is a, an old man. He wants to pass on a, a blessing to Esau, his oldest son. This blessing was like a prayer, but it had a, a certainty of being fulfilled. But he shouldn't have been doing this because it had been prophesied uh, by the Lord to Rebekah that indeed the older will serve the younger. That the, the blessing of firstborn would indeed be going to Jacob. And indeed Esau had sold his birthright as the firstborn. So what Isaac is planning to do and trying to ignore all that and give the blessing to Esau anyway was wrong. Esau also would have known that this was wrong. But he was willing to go with his father's plan in order to get a blessing. He hadn't any principle. He had no desire to do what was right. He just wanted what was he thought good for himself. Esau thought he could have no regard for God and still no God's blessing in his life. And sadly, there are many people like that today. No regard for God, no regard for what God wants. And yet expect God's blessing to be upon their lives. We're not to be like that. We're to love God, we're to trust God, we're to follow God. And it's in doing that that we will know God and his grace giving us wonderful blessing. But God overruled what happens in this situation. And Isaac and Esau, they can't take on God and win. Rebecca overhears what was, Isaac was planning. She gets Jacob, her younger son, to then get some, some goats for her to prepare a meal. And she organised it so that indeed her younger son, Jacob, would go into Isaac the father to get the blessing, disguised as Esau, the older son. And sadly, what we have here are all the members of this family involved in deceitfulness. Here is a family where grace and truth are not dominating, but lying and deceit, pushing self forward what was really. That's not the way we should be. That's not the way society should be. We shouldn't be people always conniving and just wanting to push ourselves for it. We should be a people who act in grace and truth. And that grace and truth comes from knowing Christ and, and going deeper with Christ. But in all that happens here, as Jacob comes to take this blessing, we have a lovely picture of salvation. Jacob goes to receive the blessing that Isaac attended to the elder son. He goes disguised, dressed as the elder son. 
And that's how we receive the blessing from God. God, the Father, is not a, a doting, blind old man like Isaac was. God knows everything. But the way we come to God to receive his blessing is being dressed in the perfect righteousness of Jesus. When we trust in Jesus as our Saviour and Lord, we come dressed in his clothes. We come dressed in his beauty, his perfection. That's the only way that we can be right with God. Many years ago, Robert Murray McShane, he, he wrote a hymn, Jehovah Titch Kenyu, the Lord my righteousness. And the only way that we can come to God and the only way we can come to God on Judgment Day and receive his blessing is to be dressed in the righteousness, to be dressed in the clothes of Jesus. And that happens as we come to trust in Jesus through faith and embrace him as our saviour, as our Lord. So in all this deceit, in all this conniving going on here, what a lovely picture of how we can approach God. May God give us that grace, truly, to approach him in trusting in Jesus. Amen.